Hi guys and welcome to Drive Spark. I am Promit and today what we are driving is a mass market strong hybrid vehicle from Toyota presenting you the all new urban cruiser high rider. So let's quickly start this video and before starting let me tell you that this vehicle is available in 7 monotone colors and 4 dual tone colors. What you see over here is the dual tone with the blacked out roof and now when Toyota will launch this vehicle we are expecting the prices to start at rupees 12 lakh for the base variant and this one that is a top end variant will go up to rupees 22 lakh ex showroom so let's quickly start this video and i'll tell you more about this vehicle So now let's start off with the front end of the vehicle and what you see over here is the front fascia that looks really really sporty over here you get the DRLs you get two DRLs on top of each other and this also acts as the indicator now you get the headlamp unit over here and they are bifunctional so basically you get the high beam and the low beam for the projector and this entire setup is an LED setup you also get a fair amount of chrome at the front you can see the chrome line joins the middle logo and then it continues over there you also get this grill now this grill if you see it from a far up distance it looks like it's finished in piano black but if you closely come and notice it you can see that there's a carbon fiber kind of a texture it's not actual carbon fiber it's just a texture but it definitely looks cool now you have a honeycomb grill that is uh, the secondary grill over there and you have a silver scuff plate and you also get a camera over here now this is for the 360 degree camera feature and uh, you also get some aggressive hood lines that make the car look much more muscular from the front end now this was the front end let's move on to the side profile so you get these beautiful dual own 17 inch alloy wheels on the tire profile is 21560 R17 and you can see you get this body cladding all over that actually enhances the bulkiness of the car uh, moving on you get some beautiful body lines and creases it's, it's actually not very sharp it's kind of subtle and gives the car a brilliant look you get a uh, blacked out ORVM you also get the cameras on the ORVM again a 360 degree camera feature you get the hybrid badging on either side you get this chrome uh, trim that uh, runs along the window line and you get the pillars the AB and the D pillar that is finished in uh, black and uh, on top you get this silver finish roof rails now these roof rails are kind of functional but you have to buy the aftermarket carrier that comes with the attachment so you can place your luggage on top plus you get the panoramic sunroof and you get a shark fin antenna now this was the front and the side profile let's go to the rear and i'll tell you more about that So now let's talk about the rear end of the car and the very first thing you'll notice is this huge chrome strip that runs along the boot you also get the Toyota logo you get a rear parking camera along with parking sensors and you get this silver finish scuff plate that is present at the front as well you also get a wiper along with a washer an LED headlight and defoggers for this rear windscreen you also can see that the tail light is very sleek it has got a very sleek design it's a full LED cluster and uh, it's a split tail light it's a wrap around one also you also get this hybrid badging over here with the V variant so this is the V variant you get the V badging over here you get the hybrid badging and there you get the urban cruiser high rider badging as well also you can see you get this now this is for the indicator this is for the uh, reverse light and that's a reflector but this unit is a halogen unit this is not an led so that sums up the rear end now let's open the boot so now to open the boot you have to unlock the car and after unlocking the car you just have to press the request sensor and the boot will open on its own since the hydraulic struts are present over here so this is the boot of the strong hybrid uh, variant now the strong hybrid variant uh, carries approximately 300 liters of boot space and the mild hybrid variant carries approximately 350 liters you because there's less boot space because you have the battery pack over here and you can see there's some amount of luggage that's present if you want further space there's a 60 40 split present you can fold on either seat and you'll have more space for your luggage to close the boot you have a handle over here and closing the boot is not at all difficult it is slightly heavy Now that sums up the rear end now let's go inside and I'll tell you more about the interiors So now we have the rear seat of the high rider and you can see that there is plenty amount of space over here. Now this seat is adjusted according to my height. I am 6 feet 1 and you can see that there is decent amount of knee room, leg room and there is decent amount of headroom as well. Now some people might say that the headroom is a little less and that is because you have a massive panoramic sunroof over here and the second glass also opens up and goes approximately about 80%. So I will show that to you when I'm at the front seat but let's not talk about here so you get very decent 
underneath I support you get a beautiful seats and if you're four people traveling you also get this armrest now it's a very pretty uh, wide armrest you have cup holders over here now uh, convenience features you have these AC vents now there is no climate control there's it's a single zone climate control you get uh, the blower adjustment over here and you get your charging sockets now you have a type A and a type C charging socket and you get a cubby hole that you can keep your wallet or your phone while it's charging also you get three headrests that means three people can sit over here and all the headrests are manually adjustable you can adjust them you also get this floor that has a slight bump on it so I mean this is not much and the third person will not have difficulty sitting over here and plus when you sit over here you get a beautiful view from the panoramic sunroof that is present and on long journeys this will be a very comfortable vehicle so you get this uh, two-step reclining seat uh, so this is uh, uh, setting one and if you just so this is your setting too now the seat reclines a little bit but you will have a very comfortable ride on long journeys and you won't get tired out because the seats are pretty comfortable so now we have the front seat and before starting let me just show you the key fob remember anything you recognize this maruti so yeah i mean you get a similar key fob that is brand in the maruti cars so let's keep this aside and now let's talk about the cabin so the cabin is pretty spacious and it is a very a luxurious cabin you have all the elements so starting off with the dashboard you have a triple tone dashboard you have black you have brushed silver and then you have this brown leather it that is soft touch material you get contrast stitching over here that looks fantastic you get these ac vents and over here you get this nine inch infotainment system that features apple carplay android auto but they are wired you also get a lot of settings over here you get a lot of information about the car from this infotainment system uh, below that you get your two ac vents and your hazard light uh, below that you get your climate control now this is an automatic climate control as i mentioned it's a single zone and uh, just below that you get these blank switches but between the blank switches you have the traction control button so if you press it once traction control will be off and you have to press it uh, like for two seconds to get the traction control back on uh, moving on you have a wireless charger over here you get a 12 volt socket and you get a type a charging socket now you have a light for the wireless charger when you place your phone and uh, the charging starts so you the light over here blinks uh, this is the ecvt this is the gearbox of the high rider moving on you have a few buttons over here now this button is for the ev mode that's for the pure ev mode the petrol engine won't be working the petrol engine will start when the battery will be drained and it will be charging again while the petrol engine is working so you have the drive mode so in the drive modes you have your power mode you have eco mode and you have your normal city driving mode apart from that you get two more buttons over here so these two buttons are for the ventilated seats now you you get only cool uh, seat options and you have three options for that you also get cup holders and you get a uh, uh, armrest and underneath the armrest you get some space storage space to keep your phone or your wallet and this armrest can be adjusted uh, by just uh, pulling it out also let's talk about the seats so the seats are pretty comfortable uh, very cushiony seats they are perforated seats and they have a good amount of cushioning you have good amount of side bow strings under thigh support and a beautiful adjustable headrest also the tilt and telescopic steering wheel helps the driver to get the right driving position and this is a very convenient feature also talking about features you get this uh, seven inch uh, fully digital instrument cluster and uh, this also displays a lot of information about the car uh, it also changes the color and I mean, the theme changes as uh, you switch your driving modes and you get a heads up display now the heads up display can be switched off from here you have to press the button for like three seconds and the heads up display will come down if you want it to be on you just have to press it again for around three seconds and the heads up display will pop up you can adjust the uh, brightness you can adjust the uh, settings on the head the heads up display and you have a leveler for the heads up display also like if a tall person is sitting then you can adjust the display from top to bottom so now let's talk about the steering wheel so it's a round steering wheel and it has been taken off from maruti so the steering wheel is actually pretty nice it's it's leather wrapped and you get the steering mounted controls now the the left hand side steering mounted controls is a mix and match of uh, uh, controlling the infotainment system and the instrument cluster and the right hand side is basically uh, to switch uh, your uh, modes of uh, your infotainment system and and uh, you also get your cruise control buttons over here now there are three more buttons present over here that is for your call receiving call ending and you also get voice commands now there are 55 plus connected features in this car and uh, it is actually a pretty 
compact car it's a pretty feature packed car uh, so this actually sums up the front end and one more thing before summing up you also get this auto dimming irvm and what i was saying from behind is that you get this sunroof so this sunroof opens up part one open up now you can see that the second glass is also opening and that is on not all you press the button once more and you can see that the sunroof is pretty much open all the way and this is a pretty good feature so now let's close it and let's take this car for a drive and i'll tell you how it drives on the road so now we are at the driver's seat of the all new urban cruiser high rider and let me give you a quick engine brief about this car so this car is powered by a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated three pot engine and yeah it's a three cylinder engine and this one that we are driving is the strong hybrid one so this has a motor and a battery as well so uh, now talking about the specs of the car so the power that this car generates is 115 ps of power and uh, when we talk about torque so the combined torque output uh, of both the electric motor and the petrol engine is around uh, 141 nm but if you only drive it on the petrol engine then you will get 122 nm uh, uh, now let's talk about the acceleration so there are three modes over here so now we are in power mode and let me just accelerate so when you accelerate since this is mated to an ecvt gearbox the acceleration is linear throughout the rev range until it reaches the max rpm so let me tell you another thing that when you're driving in the ev mode particularly in uh, the only electric uh, drive mode this car is absolutely silent the nvh levels are too good you cannot hear anything from outside but when it switches to the petrol mode there is some amount of noise that starts creeping in from the engine like if I flow the car once again you will hear it so if you can hear the noise so the noise starts creeping in but the NVH level and the insulation level are both are brilliant and it does a fantastic job of keeping the outside noise not coming into the cabin uh, now let's talk about the steering wheel so the steering wheel as I mentioned it is a very comfortable leather wrapped steering wheel and uh, the steering wheel is slightly on the lighter side and it weighs up slightly uh, when you are at higher speeds and uh, I, I, I think that's a good thing but the steering uh, the response of the steering is really nice the feedback from the steering wheel is excellent I mean there is no lag whatsoever you can see that if you're switching lanes the response of the car from the steering wheel is spot on and with the flick you will be able to switch lanes easily um, now the steering wheel as I mentioned uh, can be adjusted and it has tilt and both telescopic so that gives a perfect driving uh, uh, position for the driver plus this seat also has a seat height adjuster that is manual so all these things combined give a perfect driving position for the driver it is easier for the driver to find the right driving position and uh, let's Let's talk about the seat once again so as i mentioned the seats are very comfortable long journeys will not be an issue and i mean coupled with this suspension setup so now there's a speed bump coming up and we will just test it out so yeah the suspension setup is slightly on the stiffer side so the rear suspension is uh, slightly more stiffer and actually feels more stiffer because there is the battery pack that's present over there so the battery pack uh, gives some additional weight so because of that they have to tune it that way and on the plus side it helps keep the car pretty stable at uh, corners and like now i am flooring it and if you want to flick lanes it can flick easily and as i was mentioning the power delivery is linear throughout the rev range but since it's an ECVT, there is a very peculiar noise of the uh, engine that keeps on coming till you hit the maximum RPM level. So as I said that the suspension setup is uh, pretty decent. Uh, there is some amount of body roll that this car has. But this is not a car that you will uh, be going through corners really fast. But if the car is uh, loaded with five people, then it, it feels actually planted. And uh, you can do triple digit speeds at all, at, at, at all time. And uh, over here... Uh, on the uh, on the MID and the infotainment system what we can see right now is the mileage of the car now uh, Toyota claims around 27 uh, to around 28 uh, uh, kilometers per liter but since this is the first drive we have not been able to calculate the mileage completely because we have been flooring the car since morning and we have been taking uh, frequent intervals but over here we can what we can see that this is giving around 22.1 to 22.3 uh, uh, kilometers per liter and that is a fantastic thing from an SUV that can carry five people along with the luggage wherever 
they want to go so when this car will be given to us for a full fledged road test review we will tell you that time and how much mileage is it giving in the city and in the highway in the city obviously there will be stop and go traffic so over there you will get slightly less but right now also we are within the city we have not hit the highway and we are getting somewhere between 20 to 22 kilometers per liter and that is brilliant so guys if you are looking out for a car that has all the features that has a strong hybrid that works on battery as well as a petrol engine has all the features uh, in it like a heads up display uh, an infotainment system touch screen a digital cluster ventilated seats i mean you should definitely go check out the urban cruiser high rider it's a big thumbs up from my end it's a fantastic car to drive around So guys, this was the all new Toyota Urban Cruiser High Rider and I hope I explained the car well to you. If you need to know anything about this vehicle, please mention it in the comment section and we will get back to you on that. Until then, I'm Promit signing out. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, be safe and drive safe.